So what is the difference between double equals and triple equals in JavaScript? So the first version, the double equals, we just call equality. And the triple equals, this is what we call strict equality in JavaScript. If you just wanted a quick one-liner summary, you could say that the triple equals checks for both type as well as value equality, whereas the double equals only checks for the equality of the values between the operator on the left and the right hand side. But the best way to explain this and the differences between equality and strict equality is just through a number of examples. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to open up the console and we're just going to start typing a couple of expressions on the screen. So for one, we have zero, triple equals zero. And as expected, that's true. And at the same time, we can have zero, not double equals one. And again, that's true as well. And again, if we type zero, double equals zero, that's true. And again, zero not equals to one, again, that's true. So the above is as expected and works even if we use double equals or triple equals. But things get tricky when we start checking other values. So let me check a couple of other things here. Let's start off with this one. So empty string, double equals the string zero. So here you go, that's false. Now, to me, this is expected because the string empty string, it is not equal to the string zero. Okay, so things seem to make sense right now. But what do you reckon this will print? What will zero double equals empty string print? Well, it's a true. Things are starting to get a little bit strange. And let's try another one. So let's try zero is equal to the string zero. What do you reckon this will print? And again, it's true. So things are starting to get a little bit weird, a little bit strange when one value is of one type and another value is of another type. So let's see what happens when we use the strict equality operator. So zero triple equals empty string is false and zero triple equals the string zero is again false. And that's because with the triple equals, if both the values on either side of the equals operator are different types, it will always be false. Always, always, always be false. Only if the values are the same and the types are the same will the triple equals return true. So if that's what's going on with strict equality with triple equals, what's going on when we do double equals, such as this? Now with double equals, what JavaScript tries to do is intelligently tries to figure out a way of converting both those values so they are of the same type. So in this specific example, what it does is it tries to convert the number on the left hand side into a string because it's detected that the right hand side is a string. And we can see what JavaScript would print out when it tries to convert the number zero into a string by using the function string, capital S string, and passing it the number zero. And if we call that function, what it does is it actually creates a string of zero. So really what's going on above when we type zero, the number zero is double equals the string zero is JavaScript is converting that to this, okay? Which is then the string zero is then being converted into a string of zero. And then we're comparing two strings of zero to each other. In JavaScript, this is called type coercion. And when you use the double equals operator or the non-strict equality operators, that's what JavaScript tries to do. It tries to intelligently coerce both values so that they are of the same type. So sometimes this is actually pretty useful, but other times it can be actually pretty confusing. So for instance, let me refresh the page. If I did false double equals to the string false, this is actually false. So you might be guessing the reason this is false is because it's tried to convert the Boolean false into a string. So it's tried to convert it into a string and then, oh no, actually what that's done is actually created another string called false. And therefore that should result in a true. Okay, so why is it resulting in a false? Now the reason it's resulting is in a false is that in this case, it's not trying to convert the Boolean into a string, it's trying to convert the string into a Boolean. Refresh the page, when you try and convert Boolean, the string false into a Boolean, you actually get the value of true. So then we're trying to compare false is equal to true, which is obviously false. So if the values on either side of the equals operator are of different types, JavaScript attempts to coerce the types of the values to be the same type. And the rules by which JavaScript tries to do this are pretty complex and pretty hard to remember. So here, I'm just gonna show you. 
I love this table because it shows you some of the weird behavior of strict equality versus normal equality. So in strict equality, okay, when comparing a true to a true, it results in true. Any other situation, it's a false. So again, all of these, it's pretty predictable. You can predict what's going to happen when you compare one value to another value, okay? But when you start using the non-strict equality operator, you can see things get a little bit messy. So it still matches the strict equality operator. If something is equals in the strict equality operator, it will still be equals in the normal equality operator, which you can tell by looking at the green squares. The green squares of the strict equality operator are same as the green squares in the normal equality operator. But you can see the normal equality operator has far more green squares and you'll have to memorize all of these. So you can see here that the string minus one is equal to the number minus one. You can see that false is equal to the string zero, also the string empty string, also the number zero. It's also equal to the empty array, it's equal to the double empty array, it's equal to an array with a value of zero, with one entry with a value of zero. So in JavaScript, when it comes to equality, it's much better to use a strict equality operator. It's much more predictable what the strict equality operator will do in given circumstances. Whereas with the non-strict equality operator, it's much harder to predict exactly how it's going to behave. Well, it, no, actually, it is easy to predict, actually. You just have to look at this table. But who wants to look at this table all the time?